The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McTwat Waffle, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the funniest homosexual in Wichita, Kansas, none other than J.P. I was totally waiting for him to drop my name. <laughs> I was like, you should have. I should Because you're way funnier than I am. <laughs> <laughs> and your breath smells like dick right now, so don't try and lie to us. <laughs> and also back from vacation, he is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, none other than the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. That's two years ago. We don't have to promote that. That's anymore. a real title, though. That's his only accolade I got. I don't. Right? Yeah, and I don't know that I'm the funniest gay guy in Wichita. I but I heard the only one we uh, know of. No, there's a couple of them now, I think, in there. Yeah, but Jesus Christ. Man. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> yeah. I'll take the title. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, shit. Well, hey, we've got an excellent episode for you this week. Uh, we no, are no, we don't. <laughs> yeah, fucking don't don't start off with a lie. Like right away, don't lie to him right away. You're I'm, fucking like trying to hype this shit train. This up. is yeah. great, man. We got no sports to talk about. <laughs> we got nothing. We got nothing. It's gonna be the best. It is. It's gonna be great. We I got agree. Der- Derek's back from vacation, That's and so I'm excited. He's not. Uh, But anyways, if this is the first time you've listened to a Laughing on the Sidelines episode, this is a comedy podcast where you like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me, and that's fine. Uh, But this is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and offend a shitload of people. So if you don't like that, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. Bye. And I may just get my dick out tonight. I don't know yet. (laughs) Speaking of offensive, hey, JP. How's it going? It's going. All right. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to get to. We've got, uh, I kind of did some current events. What? I just told them we had nothing. And now you're lying I'm to lying. again. The second oh, yeah. time second already. Time. We're within the first five minutes of the show. You and you're already for, lying to the people. You should run for office. I you should. should. Yeah. I'd I vote for you. You should. I would vote for you. I would, and I would, I would hang would on not. your coattails. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm riding in Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> 100%. Uh, but anyways, we do have uh, some stuff to get to. We've got uh, some current events. I'm going to do something a little bit different. we got overrated or underrated in a new segment called What Would You Do? Uh, what would you do? What, what, Mark what, 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 yeah, yeah. As Mark Summers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, that, that uh, uh, the Asian guy from that's what who hosted right the big freaking Asian dude. No, it have was you only, seen that show? No. no, no. What would you do? Yeah, was, no, it's a show. That was Mark Summers. Was, was <laughs> no, yeah, dude. back in the day. Back in the day. No, that's a new one. Oh, oh they Dateline. Or, yeah. ah, they're running out of ideas. Yeah. Uh, well, we, I'll tell you what. Apparently, so are we because we just stole theirs. We sure did. If we do double dare, I am fucking out on the physical. Challenge. Gone. Forget about physical challenges. <laughs> yeah. I'm not picking anybody's nose. Yeah. <laughs> We're picking up Derek. Anyways, uh, we also got questions and preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But uh, on pens and needles here, uh, JP, we're going to go over your week, week recap. Man, let me tell you, <laughs> what a week it was full of marijuana smoking and bowling. That's right. You guessed it. I didn't do shit else. <laughs> you, need, you need to take one of either your old bowling balls or a bowling pin and make a bong out of it. You do. And then you can That's have a, a good call, bro. <laughs> you can have a bowl bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I don't, I don't hate that idea. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to see what I can do. You know, Jeremy's a woodworker I mean, <laughs> so he is yeah. he is so he is uh and bowling pins are made out of wood That's absolutely huh and I know where I can get one. I wish they were made out of glass. <laughs> that would that be would... so much cooler. Oh, You're right. Yeah. 
Bowling Dude. would then skyrocket oh. to the most watched <laughs> sport in the United States. It's also the most expensive because it's only <laughs> Ming, Ming vases. That's the only thing you can use, like Ming Fuck Dynasty yeah. vases. Is there, there, like, there's no better sound in the world than glass breaking. <laughs> yeah. You know, unless it's your well, car window or something. So, yeah, that <laughs> sucks. Yeah, unless yeah. it's your car window. <laughs> yeah. But if it's somebody else's car window and their Amazing. purse is in the front seat, Amazing. fucking great yeah. deal. You get enough money, yeah. you can go bowling. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Buy a bowling pin and make a bong out yeah. of it. That's right. But yeah, man, uh, it was cool. Yeah. I almost shot 300 again last night. Damn. I was so close. How many three. games did it take you? 300 a game? No, <laughs> no, no. One game. One game. Oh, One game. Okay. I had the front nine, and then I hung a 10 pin, and then picked that up, and then wrapped another 10 Two, pin. 278. 278. It blows yeah. my fucking mind that you're that good at bowling. Fuck yeah, It really dude. does. I am. I am that good. Did you go to yeah. college for bowling? No, otherwise I'd be on the tour. I like figured you I probably ever, would. I, I'm self-taught. Like, I have had zero try. I've taught every... Well, my dad helped me. I mean... Sure. But, you know... It's just weird because, like, Wichita State University... Oh, if is, I had that kind of coaching, I would be on the tour. I'd figure. 100%. It's just, it's just crazy how popular Dude. bowling is in Wichita. Yeah. I don't go. I, it's not my thing. It just isn't. Well... But... You know, it's okay. Yeah. Derek doesn't even think it's a sport. It's so. not. I don't. I used yeah. to bowl all the time. Jesus. See? Gay guys frequent there quite often. So I, I need to stay away. No, they don't. You would, th <laughs> you would think so. But no, nope. every dick I've ever sucked in a bowling alley has been from a straight dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, it's like $5 a game now. You got to pay for it. You got to pay for it somehow, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah. Shit ain't cheap, son. But you got to move back, uh, back home too, since you're no longer watching uh, Derek's yeah, house. Yeah. I'm back to the, back to the uh, rental property. Property. Yeah, so there you go. That's good. Not as um, nice. Not as nice. I'd yeah. rather be at Derek still, I, but I, not now because Derek's <laughs> there. Right. But like, if Derek wasn't there, it's yeah. nice. It's nice being in a place with Wheel of Fortune money. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dude, yeah. you are not yeah. kidding, dude. Yeah. He has some nice <laughs> shit. shit, dude. I rub my junk all over all of it. I was waiting um, for you to say that. I mean, I've got some pictures. I haven't showed him yet, but I, proof. <laughs> proof yeah. of, of what went down i'm gonna send him one a week starting tomorrow absolutely and it should take about the rest of the year we'll get it printed get up through them get Sweet. it printed up and convince his wife to hang it up in the in the living room no because she would <laughs> no yeah. she wouldn't she wouldn't even put the centaur up there she wouldn't even put the centaur <laughs> that's in the bedroom now it uh, can't be above the mantle anymore uh, <laughs> shit Until well she goes on vacation but yeah man uh played some poker Hey, there you oh, go. Nice. That's about it. That's Win? about it. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I was out of town. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Derek wasn't around. <laughs> yeah. Shit. It's less poker and watching my, than it is watching my hillbilly friends get drunk and taking advantage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah, it's yeah. great. It's totally fine. Um, well, I had a uh, I had a pretty decent week, man. I I took Jeremy Joseph's advice from last week's episode. And you went and fucked yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. Perfect. You didn't do very well. I, I do that quite often, actually. Yeah. Scotty fucked right off this week, folks. <laughs> yeah, sorry. No Scotty this week. He took Jeremy's advice and fucked off. <laughs> no, no, Jeremy uh, recommended to me uh, to watch uh, The Last of Us. He, he was watching. Didn't know it was a video game. I actually played the video game, and so I was really excited, but I'm one of those people. I can't watch a TV show. Until it's all there. Until it's all there. I got to binge it. it. It is so frustrating to not be able to do that. And so finally, the last episode of The Last of Us came out Sunday. Day. So me and my wife, no bullshit, binged that shit in two fucking days. That's why. So, uh, but we do. Man, you are the coolest. No, I just can't do it. I can't stop. Once you go, you just like, ah, oh, they're hang I'm on the edge of my fucking seat. I need to know what happens. So that I, I did. And I got to say, man, fucking great. Yeah. It's good. really fucking good. I'm not a huge apocalyptic kind of, you know, situation fan, but that was fucking great. That was absolutely cool. Uh, so hats off to them. Uh, and then after we finished that, I uh, I decided to get wrapped up in fucking true crime documentaries of people that were caught on video, like CCTV, okay. where they're like caught in the act of murdering somebody. Oh, great. That's how they eventually wow. solved the case. Holy shit. It scares the fucking shit out of me now, dude. It really fucking does. Because you're not a real man. No. And that's okay. That's not a bad thing, man. <laughs> wow. Your wife tends to, she's obviously likes it. Uh, she does. Yeah, we, we watched a whole bunch. Try and murder me. <laughs> yeah. Just fucking try. I don't. Good fucking luck. <laughs> Scotty will pick his wife up and use her as a weapon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <if I> could. <laughs> yeah start swinging that bitch around. Oh I could. no! She, but yeah, she's, she's that's, small enough. it's crazy, dude. People Fuck. are nuts. But you you just don't even know how 
absolutely insane somebody can absolutely be. Oh, it's creepy. And, yeah, it's, it's creepy. It's creepy. There is one where a majority of these cases, for some crazy, crazy reason, are at Walmart where you have to know. That's weird. Yeah, well, you have to know. That Those is like, people are in there. They've got. That's fun. where they stay. <laughs> yeah, they, they, stay they stay in stay Walmart. There. Yeah, they do. That's but it has cam There's cameras everywhere at Walmart. <laughs> it's they're fucking they everywhere. Yeah, that's crazy. No bullshit. A crime was fucking solved because of a camera inside of a vending machine. Inside of a vending machine. That's how they caught the motherfucker. But what it's kind of just pervert creepy. puts a camera in a vending <laughs> so, machine. I, no I, kidding. Apparently, I put mine behind the bathroom mirror like everybody else. Solved yeah. the murder. What do you do? I don't know. Uh, but then I also played a Snickers bar. <laughs> you gotcha. <laughs> He's buying a Snickers. Uh, yeah, no, it's for statistics. You get to see all the fat fucks for the right. vending machine. That's the whole deal. It's just Derek over and over. <laughs> <laughs> How many times is Derek going to go buy a candy bar today? <laughs> My dibs on five. I don't really eat candy bars. I know you really don't. No, no. I would not believe that. I know you. Wouldn't. I mean, I I believe you because I know you wouldn't lie about it. But you must eat a lot of other things. He does. I believe you'd be surprised. Oh, <laughs> damn. Uh, but anyways, last but not least, I played an absolutely horrific game of golf. Yeah. Absolutely terrible. Oh, it was awful. But it was, it was fun. fun. Absolutely. The, yeah. the, your worst day of golfing is the is better than the best day at work. Golf. I just hate yeah. After like the eighteenth hole, they take your ball. I don't like That's that. Butt butt. That is <laughs> bullshit. I hit it in the dragon's mouth just like they told me to. <laughs> what if I want to play gone. another round? You, yeah. know? you just took it from me. Yeah, that's right. That's why we would always skip it and go back to the first. Yeah. 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 But then uh, I forgot to say, talk about this last week, but the week before, I legitimately played the best round of golf in my life. And it's not like I'm nice. a fucking pro, guys. I, I, I shot an 85. I don't Which know me, if that's, that's good. Great. I know it's good for me. I could never do it. And Sub, I don't want to do it. Sub, golf is the only sport I do not. I don't want to be good at. I love going out and just fucking smacking it's, the ball. It's around. beautiful. Yeah. I know. I accidentally said sport, but I also <laughs> consider a bowling a sport. True. So. Oh, they're no, both. Neither. They're both games. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I did. I shot an 85. I felt like I could go up and just swing and it was going to go right where I want to. It was a fucking weird ass feeling, but yes, if you're sub 100, you're you're an above average golfer. So I It must that. be the bindings. That's what I was going to say. It's yeah. like golf, probably the golf board. golf bindings. No bullshit, you were gone, but oh, I had man. so many people come up to me on the mountain and go, "He's so you excited. Look at him." Up? Oh man, they're He's so excited. It's the first thing so he said dumb. when I walked in last week. Bro, you'll never guess how many people <laughs> asked me about my bindings. <laughs> I was like, I don't fucking care. Yeah, no. Snowboard but season's now over. Now he's got like the bicycle shoes that like clip into the pedals. Lance Armstrong. He's like Oh, I gotta go biking. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Walks into the quick trip. <laughs> I fucking hate those people. Oh They're yeah, such jerks. They uh, really are. But anyways, that was my week. I am excited to hear how uh, Derek's fun-filled vacation. You uh, you speak a Spanish now? Yeah, I spoke Spanish before I went down there. Oh, okay, okay. That's I actually got complimented on my Spanish a lot. Did you really? Yeah. Nice, good a for you. A lot. It was broken, but I knew most of the words. Yeah, you That's communicate. Good. Yeah, so yeah. it's like a Bone Thug song. <laughs> you know I mean? Like I'm getting about every third word, but yeah. it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So. Uh, but yeah, you went to uh, you went to Costa Rica. Yeah, the, yeah. That That's, means rich coast. Mm -hmm. You rich motherfucker. Yeah, yeah fuck both of, fortune, of you, man. man. You guys Jeez. got all that fucking good money, man. Yeah, I know. I went to New Mexico. I don't have Aspen money. I you went didn't to go to old Mexico. <laughs> I, yeah, I went dude. to the new, new one. Mexico. Right. That's right. A nice, shiny one. So how was it? What, what all did you do? How, how was it uh, the whole vacationing thing and flying all that shit? Uh, well, it started off fantastic. We got there and they lost our luggage. Fuck yes! Uh, so My wish happened. That's yeah. great. All right. Yeah, they lost our luggage. And uh, so we got into the hotel. It was pretty cool. Like when we actually, because like we, the rental car company, we I found it. It's a small local rental car company. There's like 30 <laughs> Of cars. course you found <laughs> You Jew. <laughs> No, no, it was actually pretty Dude. expensive. It was actually pretty expensive, but it no, was the reason, buy local. No, I want to support, local, support support local, local. That's business. That's where I'm at on yeah, that. That's cool. That's where I'm at on that. And and I didn't realize it was like that until after or whenever we dropped when we picked up the car. <laughs> when we picked it at somebody's house, <laughs> kind of, but it, you don't understand how it is. Different. Let me back out. Let me back out the Buick, and then you can have her. <laughs> Ninety-eight Buick, by the way, <laughs> Skylark. Sorry. Anyway, so the company that I booked was called Zuma, Z U M A, oh, and yeah. they. They uh, they pick you up from the airport, right on. And then like they will you should. they will drive you into in town, and then you sign all your paperwork, swipe your card, and then our hotel was like a, a mile from the office, okay. which was great. It was about an hour and a half normal ride from the airport. Okay. So he drove that whole way. Oh, that's cool. And then uh, I was worried he was going to leave because it took forever to get through customs. I saw one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in customs. 
I seen a lady with a, a, he- dick. a hijab and a crop top. What? <laughs> the thing that's supposed to like hide hijab. your face. I was like, what's a hijab? The you thing, mean a sex change? The thing no. that like hides your face and then her fucking whole, like the bottom of her tits to the top of her puss. Right. Wide open. That's fine. <laughs> and I'm that's like, okay. what in the fuck is this? The <laughs> a hijab. You just can't yeah. show your hair, man. Yeah. yeah. Can't well, show your hair. She face. was showing the top of it on the <laughs> downside. Oh, boy. She needed a uh, manscaped. <laughs> so what they figured, they said it usually takes about 20 minutes to get through customs. It took us about four. 45 so i'm like emailing them going hey uh don't leave like we we're uh, still trying we're still to get in customs. customs there's so this the, heat job bitch in our yeah, way yeah. <laughs> she won't even pick her bag up she's just scooting it across the floor with the feet. <laughs> and i'm like okay so we go to get our luggage and katie pulls up on the app and it's like uh luggage on a different flight and i'm like the fuck you say <laughs> and uh so we go to the counter and Oops. nobody's helping us there's like four people back there. They're helping one guy's helping one group and then nobody else will even look at us. And I'm like, well, this is fantastic. So we're in line for another 30 minutes waiting to get help. And now I'm like, honey, I'm going to go find the rental car guy because he'll probably leave. So I run out, I find him there's, they were supposed to deliver the luggage the next day. They did. Thank the fuck God. Um, and then I spent a lot of days in the ocean uh, mainly like swimming around, trying to uh, talk to the sharks to teach them to grow legs to come on land and get Scotty. No, <laughs> uh, fuck that shit. I, I did that. Did anybody try and catch you? <laughs> <laughs> there she blows. God damn. It. <laughs> um, and then I didn't. Uh, I was trying to convince my wife, and it did not work. Um, everybody knows how to say "Where's the bathroom" in Spanish. Don't they? Estado no, yeah. So I'm t- talking to my wife, and I'm like, "Honey, it, in Costa Rica, it's a little different down here. They say they they have different slang and say things differently. So, like, if you, you need to use the bathroom, you need to say "Tango K Cagar," <laughs> which, if you don't know what that means, that translates to "I have to shit." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it didn't work. She wasn't. She wasn't having it. Yeah, uh, she, she's not stupid. She was uh, too privy for that one. <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. So, it would have worked with me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, bought it. I didn't I'd've know what it, it meant. I did find out that uh, this was weird to me. We were in the ocean one day, and uh, we're on the boat. We're out. There's like uh, one of the tours we went with. You're on the beach the whole day, and we're on Tortuga Island. It's a small island, and somebody cracked a fart. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> it was somebody. Yeah, Hang somebody. on. Somebody cracked a fart. Somebody. Because my wife goes, somebody farted. And I'm like, oh, God, yeah. So we, we got the fuck away. And then like two hours later, we're in the ocean. I crack a teeny little fart. And my wife just goes, you farted. Like she knows my brand. Wow, like, that was the creepiest thing ever. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Uh, we went on a monkey tour. Uh, I had a monkey actually on my shoulder, <laughs> on my wife's head. It was pretty cool. We saw I a shitload of those. I don't think you can call them that. I think it's racist, man. Yeah, uh, I think. I think. Hey, if you, if you I guys think are still. I Costa Ricans now. <laughs> if you guys are still in the 1950s, you go ahead and stay in the 1950s. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. That's uh, bad. That but is no. messed up. Uh, capu- yeah, they were capuchin monkeys. Oh, they those were, the, yeah, those are the ones in the, monkey trouble. The AIDS monkey. They were cool. Oh. As, that's why I like them so much. <laughs> yeah, um, right. They, they were cool. Congrats, as fuck. bro. Yeah, JP avoided them. I hope you didn't fuck any of them. <laughs> I did not. I did not. They were selling Ronald Reagan t shirts. <laughs> the monkeys were. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then they definitely would have let you fuck them. Yeah. 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 I just, I'm like, what do you, what do you got a Reagan Bush 84? <laughs> they just got him. <laughs> God damn it. You almost killed me over here. So, uh, God damn. Um, but no, the monkeys were fucking cool as shit. They were, it's funny hearing them like run across the top of the boat. Like oh, the yeah. They were on and shit. That's cool. It, it was awesome. It was that was one of my favorite things we did. Right on. Then we did the island. We went snorkeling. I'd never done that. That was really cool once I figured out how to fucking do it. Yeah, because <laughs> if you can't breathe, it's not fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You will pass out and die. <laughs> yeah. So we did that, and then I got to drink uh, a drink out of a coconut and a drink out of a pineapple. I was that guy. There you go. You got to be that guy, though. And, then, uh, and it included free margaritas. You have a little straw punch. hat on and take pictures. Katie did, yeah. Yeah, right oh, yeah, on. Of okay, there you go. Um, and then the funny thing to me was, man, before we went, I wanted to buy like a waterproof phone case. So like, cause like that day that we were on the island, 
you're going to be, I didn't want to leave my phone because I needed cash, my credit card, my phone. I didn't want to leave that all just sitting in a bag on the beach unattended. Yeah. That freaked me the fuck out. So you wanted a case that you could take your phone into the water, in the water. with you? Yeah. Okay. So I found, I looked at like a Academy and a cut like Cabela's and couldn't find shit. So then I but found. you're a little shop local guy. So. Found yeah. some on Amazon. Oh. Uh, eight what? bucks. I'm like, this thing is going to suck. Uh, yeah, bucks. it'll work. It worked great. Seriously? Really? Seriously. But the best part about this. <laughs> what? Here's the best part. So, uh, JP, you've worked in restaurants for quite a while. You're, I have. And uh, you're kind of one of these. Um, I, I have bought this phone case, and we get them, and I open it up, and I test it, and it works great. And then I look at the brand name because it hangs around your neck, and then it st- sits about chest high, and it, it's a black case, and in big, white, bold letters is the brand. J-O-T-O. Hoto. <laughs> For those of you that don't know that what Hoto a, means yeah. in Spanish, yeah. that is a derogatory slang for a homosexual male. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it would the actual translation is fag in Spanish. Like, I don't the brand has to know what they're doing, right? It can't just be like, you want to take your phone in your wa- in the water, you fucking queer? Is that what you want to do? You want to take pictures of the fishes? You want to suck their dicks too? Is that what you want? What's well, like, going to cost you $8? <laughs> yeah. Faggot. <laughs> it's just like, you yeah. got to be shitting me. So I took All a black right. marker and like crossed it out before now we Now it left. just says ho. No, it was just blank. Just it matched Oh, the you did it all. But then okay. like the third day in the other it wore shit, off. it washed yeah. it all off. So I'm just walking around like it's a goddamn name tag. <laughs> 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 All the lady boys were coming up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus so, Christ. Yeah. Uh, Do you have lady boys there? Not that I saw, no. Mm. That, uh, that he knew they're of. that good. You yeah, can't tell. They are that good. <laughs> yeah. They are that good. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, uh, Capos was a lot different than Hako. Hako has like a, it's almost like Vegas has a strip. Vegas or Hako, or Vegas does. Hako's kind of like that, just with only two tiny casinos. Hmm. Uh, but lots of bars and restaurants and shops. And then uh, Capos, where we were at, was like, we were up in the jungle. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, that's very cool. The pool just cool. looked right out into the jungle. We saw a different kind of monkey out there. Uh, called Dude. a squirrel monkey. Oh, squirrel monkeys They're are like badass, a, but they are loud as fuck. They were like a pound. They're so little, and my wife is like, "I see one over there," and we're kind of. I'm like, "Where?" And then all of a sudden, the branch right next to us moves. I'm like, "Fuck!" There's one right, there. One right there. So she goes to take a picture, and I'm like, "Fuck that!" There's one right on the roof looking at us. Yeah. <laughs> and then they they ran across, and we're just hanging out in the tree. And it's funny watching them lay because they just fucking lay their torso on a branch and then just fucking arms and legs just hanging Dang. just like fuck it i'm done for the day <laughs> they're very loud too if yeah. you get them yeah, going geez. yeah they weren't for us thankfully yeah. that what was loud was the locusts the oh cicadas. Yeah. i don't like that oh it sounded like a fucking tornado siren oh i don't like that <laughs> yeah no thank you please i'm actually mm-hmm. shocked there's not very many states that have cicadas like yeah. Kansas, really? Oklahoma, Tech. yeah. I'm dude. just used to them here. Yeah, it's so. crazy. Oh, but, I hate them. Yeah, they're I fucking loud as Man, shit. Man, one got in the house one time. Oh, oh fuck, fuck me, dude. Worst. I was screaming like a little bitch. <laughs> I was running around. Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> oh my god! That's the day you found yeah. out you were gay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I can't. No, that was it. He yeah. went like yeah. yeah. that. It's the apocalypse. <laughs> it was just one locust. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, anything else? I know that's kind of the long one, but. Yeah, that was that was my vacation. That was vacation. Right yeah. on, man. I'm glad you had a good I, time. I, I really am. I'm glad you had a great time. That's man. the first vacation where I didn't really do shit. And that's good. Usually yeah, I'm like, we cool. got to go see this. We got to hit this. I want to go do Sometimes it's I nice just this. to kind of hang out and let it go as it goes. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That's pretty much what we and did. That's cool. Like, that's the be- you- those are the best, man. They yeah. really are. Like, you want to go back in the ocean? Yeah. Okay, sure. let's go. Why not? I'll just go back in the All ocean. Right. JP doesn't know what that's like. No, no. But... I'm here watching the dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of a, like a monkey. Kind of. We were, gonna, yeah. we were gonna bring you Hoto. back, but I didn't know the rules. <laughs> they had little weed pipes. Oh yeah, you buy. can bring them back. I didn't know if you could or not. Because uh, like, you can't bring a rock. So I was like, I don't know if I can bring that. Yeah, back or no, not. you can bring it back. You just got to put it in your asshole. Uh, <laughs> and that's not even to get it through the border. That's just how. No, you that's prefer just how it. I prefer. <laughs> yeah, to, yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Oh, God. I, yeah. Oh well, <laughs> shit. I'm I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad everybody made it on their vacation. Everybody was had a safe time, and glad to have you back, uh, Derek. Especially right before baseball season kicks off. But uh, but yeah. Uh, before we get on to the current events that I got going on, we got to give a shout out to our sponsor, which is Manscaped.com. 
com. They still sponsor us huh? as of right now. Okay, uh, <laughs> but I'm not. Gonna, yeah, they're great products. Even if they don't. No, yeah, they're, they're great they're, products. Yeah, All great right. products. I know? appreciate the shit out of them. Yeah, yeah, especially we need to market it to that one freaking lady that you were talking about that had the freaking he job. Yeah. 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 God yeah. damn. They've he got job, to, Susan. And the other thing is, is it's coming right around the, that time of a year where it's starting, the grass is starting to grow, so you're going to have to start doing some lawn mowing. And mm-hmm. I fucking hate lawn mowing. I hate mowing my lawn. I have somebody else do mine. That's right. right. <laughs> I hired that out. Hoto. Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey does it. Yeah. That Hoto. <laughs> that Hoto. <laughs> yeah. But let me tell you what I like to do. I like to shave my balls using the Lawnmower 4.0. It mm. is an excellent product. Very nice. To help keep your balls, dick, and asshole groomed. Um, the lawnmower 4.0 has a docking station, so you could dock it. Got to be able to dock it. That's right, baby. Mm-hmm. It also has an adjustable LED light, just in case you want to shave your balls in the dark. Which I do. I'm you sure. Gotta, you got to pop lock it, dock it. <laughs> pop lock it, dock it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that is just their flagship product. They do have other products like the Weed Whacker for your nose hair and ear hair. They have a bunch of other products at manscaped.com. Do us a favor and go check them out and use the promo code SIDELINES to get 20% off of your order. That includes uh, 20% off and free shipping that helps you out helps us out and lets manscape know that uh we still kind of like them okay what are you <laughs> showed them that phone case, phone case. It, it sure does say fantastic auto the it does look like a name tag <laughs> too <laughs> that, the crazy uh, the other crazy thing too sorry when we got there was i was like i need a fucking beer and so the dude was like oh we'll pull over at a at a uh like uh grocery store or whatever and we can you can get some beer so we i go get like a six pack of their local beer and we're driving for like five minutes and he's like Open the beer. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah. I said, you can do that here? And he goes, yeah, just as long as you're not the one driving, you can, yeah, you can open the beer. I'm like, okay. But I'm going to be driving this car in like 45 minutes. He's like, fuck it. So I'm like, you're not driving now. Yeah. He's like, well, you're going to buy our insurance now. (laughs) Open the beer. I dare you. Yeah. So uh, we fucking split a sixer. Good deal. He stopped off and looked at the bridge at the, with all the crocodiles. He let us do that too. No, fuck that. No. That's cool. That's That's cool. That's another thing I'm doing. We're doing that when uh, I'm going to New Orleans in October. Oh, there you go. uh, Hey, vacation, vacation. for JP. I, yeah, have to yeah. go, I have to go somewhere like New Orleans, but it's <laughs> cool, man. He's like, will you come over and watch my you, pod? You went to Costa Rica. <laughs> yeah, you went to Costa Rica. I'm going to New Orleans. It's basically the same thing. That's Pretty better. Much, yeah. Yeah. That's better than, than oh, New it's gonna Mexico. Be a bla- it's going to be a blast. Yeah, it's going to be an awesome time. But, uh, yeah. Are you going during Mardi Gras? October. Oh, okay. yeah, this so, but yeah, we're now. doing the we're doing I, the I whole gator know. wrestling thing, dude. I'm gonna wrestle on them bitches. Hell yeah! Fuck, fuck yeah, I am. <laughs> Alligator maybe a uh, salty no. fuck that. Oh yeah, shit. I'm yeah, going I've, for it, baby. If I've learned anything from South Park, you gotta stick your thumb in his butthole. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stick your thumb in his butthole. <laughs> shit, that's what South Park taught me. That's true. That's not the only thing they taught you. <laughs> <laughs> they taught you a lot more. Uh, but anyways, let's move on to some current events. I did have to bring this up, and I didn't talk about it on my week, but I was forced <laughs> over this last weekend to watch something that I never watched before but joke about all the fucking time. The video, your conception? No. Yeah. No, I know. I watch that uh, uh, voluntarily. I do that on okay. the weekends. Uh, but no. Uh, like this, <clears throat> yeah, what? He thinks his mom has a hot puss. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's gross. My dad's got great balls. Man, I'll that's tell you I, what. That's where I get my dick from. Uh, but no, it's it, balls. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, no, I had uh, I I went golfing with a buddy, and we come home, and uh, his wife's mom is in town, and my wife is over there, and they are super apparently into watching the fucking Oscars. Mm. I didn't know people do this. Like people oh, legitimately people. Well, want to watch the Oscars. My people. I'm sure. Love it. I'm sure they do. I, I don't watch it. I can't. I, I've i never wanted to watch. It's such a bunch of bullshit. Like, the fans don't even vote. Like, whoever wins the award is actually from, like, some academy bullshit, and that's who votes, all yeah, right? Yeah. It's like the NFL. <clears throat> yeah. But it wasn't the actual, Jews like... Jews and gays. It they control everything in Hollywood. <laughs> it wasn't the actual show. It was... Kanye it was, West, everybody. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I mean, that's where I heard it. <laughs> right. That's where I heard it first. No, but they weren't even watching the actual pre- presentation of the Oscars. This was the red carpet bullshit. Oh, it's the best part. Oh, my God. I, oh, yeah, I man. really legitimately thought it was just a huge joke of, oh, my God, you look fabulous. What are you wearing? No, that's exactly that's what exactly they fucking what say. It I think it's oh, who yeah. are you wearing, and then that was supposed to be. Yeah, who are you wearing? Yeah, yeah exactly. And it's just, oh, my God, this bitch looked like she Derek had a. Derek Alders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, I got him draped yeah. around yeah. me. I'm wearing starter. <laughs> <laughs> 
and Jordan on my feet. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, but no, this bitch looked like she was wearing her fucking comforter off of her bed. I'm just like, really, dude. That I Get want. Co- I want here. comforter dress money. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where I can just dress in my comforter and be like, "Yeah, that's right, bitch. I'm oh, fly." God, it's such. I a want that kind of money. Fucking joke. Um, but after I watched that, I, I was actually kind of happy that I did. When it was all said and done, there was one gal, and I can't remember her gal. fucking name. Yeah, I can't remember her name. Son of a bitch. Broad. She was. It's yeah, better. there's it some broad. Well broad. So, I'm sorry. That's I apologize. Better. Some broad that. Uh, you, she just was in front of the camera everywhere. She was wearing this purple dress, and she was in Wakanda for forever. Angela Bassett. That's it. And uh, uh, she was that broad. She was trying to get in front yeah. of every camera. Or she just it must knew, have worked. She just knew that she was going to win the I think it's Best Supporting Actress award. Yeah. And of course, I didn't watch, but I found out the very next day that she lost, and I was like, "Oh fuck, that's awesome." But I found out there was video evidence of her reaction of not winning said award, and it's fucking great. She, she is not is happy, huh? Not happy. That's awesome. Everybody stood up, and I can't remember who won, and I don't care, but there's a video that kind of stays on her, and she is the only one in that bitch that did not stand up and clap. Something happened like that at the Grammys. Oh, it was Beyonce. Oh, it's perfect. With uh, what's his sense. name? I don't, one, I don't uh, know. you know. Like Sam Smith or something? No, 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 no. no. Gayer. Oh, yeah. uh, wow. Lil Nas X, Gayer, uh, Eminem. Uh, no, he uh, used okay. to. Uh, I can't think of his name. Oh well, that doesn't matter. Anyway, but, watermelon but, sugar, Harry Styles. Okay, okay, all right. But no, if you get a chance, look that dude, up. Dude, you got to look that. I will do. One. We'll, I bet we'll it's do it. Very similar. Oh, yeah, dude. I was so I, her like, whole entourage stood up around her like, here we go. We're gonna go accept the award, and they said <laughs> Harry Styles, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Her old face just cracked what off. Is it was wrong? awesome. What is dude. wrong with this? There's some level of loving, awesome. loving people like feel just yeah, bad you, because then you're like, fuck yeah, yeah. I feel better than them. <laughs> I know, shit. Yeah. Like now, I, that's I know how there's I, at least one human being on this planet I feel better than. Uh huh. Yes. That's yeah. that's how I can watch the comedy contest every year now. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I'm like, I'm gonna watch ten people at least be just pissed. Yeah. pissed. I oh mean, well, and then um. To move on, I guess, like, I think the last time that anybody paid this much attention at the fucking Oscars was last year, whenever Will Smith and smacked the, the shit, shit out of Chris Rock. Chris Rock. I wanted to see what was going to happen again. I was kind of yeah. scared. But it turns out that Chris Rock came out with his new oh, yeah, Netflix man. special. Did yeah. you watch it? I watched that part of it. I haven't watched that, any of it. I yet. watched that part of him basically. Right. And saying what a bitch Will Smith is, <laughs> dude, and it was fucking, fucking really good. Oh, I, need to I don't know it. about the rest of it because I haven't sat down and watched it yet because I'm busy bowling and smoking weed. I, mm-hmm. Yeah, it, but uh, it's 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 a, that it's part Chris, of it was good. That five minutes that I saw was it's fucking Chris, great. It's Chris Rock, yeah, kind of st- He has his own style. Sure he repeats he does. the words over yeah. and over again. But no, it, it's very good. It's not bigger, blacker, and uncut. It's not that good. It's bigger, blacker, better. Huh? I think it's bigger, black, or better. Oh, was it bigger, black, or better? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. That one was by far my favorite one of his, and it was Well, phenomenal. we know how you like it now. Sure. Thanks, man. Um, but no, it was. Yeah. I thought it was good. But um, cool. apparently, apparently, Will Smith is not happy oh, and is offended Smith, by the jokes made to, towards him on Chris Rock's special. Poor guy. He's got it rough. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You smacked him in front of millions of people He's watching. Like, Did it hurt? Did it hurt? Fuck yeah, like, it hurt. Fuck yeah, it hurt. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> the entitlement yeah, was great. of like yeah, to even insane. say that you're offended or, and I think Jada said something along the lines of, oh, Chris Rock, he, there, he's just obsessed. No, bitch, you fucking embarrassed him on national television. Yeah, man. Your turn. And then you, you hit. And you know he's a comedian. Yeah, God, that's your yeah, own fucking that's fault. That's your own fucking you fault. You deserve everything you're about to get. Oh, for that would sure. Be like if. If he went up and smacked Eminem, and then Eminem wrote a song about it, and be like, "I he just needs to get over." Yeah, exactly. I just I can't, can't believe, believe he, he wrote a song. song about it. Yeah, Jesus exactly. You Christ. fucking moron. What's he doing writing a diss track about my yeah. bald head? No, the, yeah. the, the best joke Chris Rock said was he watched Emancipation just so he could watch Will Smith get whipped. Yes, 
Yes, I, I saw that, and I he went. Goes, he goes, I was just rewinding, fast forwarding, <laughs> rewinding fast. Yeah, I'm like, like, oh damn, he went there. Yeah, he did. Wow, and I, but you know I what? Haven't, I haven't seen it yet. So. I, I'm sorry, I don't mean. But anything, I'm definitely going to check it out now. Yeah, you kind of have to. I was going to. I was overseas when it came yeah, out. Yeah, dude, that, it's I definitely it's good. True. It's definitely worth your time. It was yeah. awesome, and I'm glad he he had every every right to take as many verbal shots no. at Will Smith and Jada that he. Could for sure. think of so they just need to get over that shit um but anyways um moving on to some i guess we can talk a little bit about football even though Derek is kind of rebelling against the sport uh there's a lot of player movement going on right now i by yeah. the time by the time this episode comes out i think aaron Rodgers may be a new york jet they're doing a lot of things to try to make sure he goes there i think they picked up alan uh lazard well, they gave him a whole fucking he gave them a whole list of players that, that were free wants, agents that, that he that wants if they yeah. if they want him he wants this so but and they're trying uh, fucking idiots i i just it's like fuck LeBron. aaron rogers that is lebron james it yeah, kind of is it kind of is you're, you're kind of right Le, he's the lebron james of fucking he kind of is he sure. kind of is um, except he's not as good he uh, thinks he is. Yeah, LeBron James is a way better football player. <laughs> way better. It's not even close. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Uh, but no, I think that's going to probably happen. Uh, I saw today that Darren Waller got traded to the Giants. Giants. Yeah. Uh, so that's, uh, it's like they fucked up with Evan Ingram and then they were like, oh, wait a minute. Double bro. down. We need to get a tight end we know yeah, is actually good. Right. Um, and it looks like Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be going to Las Which Vegas. Which I love. Yeah. I Dude, kinda, kinda I'm like so it. stoked. Like, I have no dog in the fight for the next few years, I, so I'm excited yeah. <laughs> to see Derek Carr and to see Jimmy and to see what they do with those teams because right. I think they're a better fit with the teams that they're with now than yeah. they have ever been with another organization. So I'm yeah. excited to see what they can do. I don't disagree with you at all. I, I really don't. Uh, as long I, as the Chiefs don't fucking win again, I don't God care what damn, And that's the oh. sick and twisted fucking thing is all of these free agents stars. Of course they want to like play for the Chiefs, the, right? DeAndre, wants, yeah. DeAndre Hopkins, yeah. Yeah. Adam yeah. Thielen, got released by the minnesota vikings so now it's like hey i'm over here and it's right. like i want to win a super bowl it's like god damn it they just everybody just wants to go play there. dude it's the same way you know that's when tom brady was still playing i know they want to play just, for fucking tom brady who could blame him fucking if i sucks. if i played football i'd want to fucking play for with patrick mahomes i i know i agree uh, hands down 100 percent. there is no better quarterback yeah if you don't win the refs will get there for you oh, exactly god. dude <laughs> exactly but um but no in a, a team that is in a, an extremely excellent position uh traded away the number one pick traded down so they could get i believe what number four if i remember correctly hmm. the bears oh they traded i think with carolina yeah they traded carolina carolina is now gonna get the number one pick and they still get like a f the number four number nine five. nine nine I think, which yeah. is fine they got a lot for it they got dj moore who's i think trash I think he's a great wide receiver, but they get trash, they get a trash. shit they get a shitload of other picks in the next like four years. So Ooh. go <laughs> for it. Yeah, right. Ooh. They've got the face of their organization. Man, I'll tell you what, so, they're gonna be yeah, good someday. Justin Fields. Yeah, right. No, they're yeah. not. Yeah. They've had their time. Ah, uh, yeah, you're probably right. But it doesn't matter. It's just weird, Derek, not getting involved in football. It's just fucking weird. He actually thinks it's a legitimate like scandal. The fix is in. <laughs> the oh, fix is in, God. baby. <laughs> Talk to me in October, dude. Um, Anyways, uh, but we are coming up on March Madness. First year, I will honestly say, haven't watched a fucking basketball game all year round. And I don't think I, I will ever again. I don't. Oh, you're, you think it's rigged like I, like I do? No, I don't, think it's, I, don't okay. think it's I don't think it's rigged. I don't think it's rigged. I do not like the the transfer portal. I don't like the way that they have it. That's Kids terrible. aren't. It's awful. It's awful for the game. You can't fall in love with players. You're 100% right. You cannot love a team. For more than a year or two, yeah, exactly. Because they won't, they will be gone. Everybody's yeah, leaving. Right. It, it, listen, you. Need I couldn't believe how many seniors and juniors that that Gonzaga, uh, North Carolina, had on their fucking oh, team sure. this year. Guns how long they've been playing together, and then they missed the tournament on top of it. That's <laughs> rough. Yeah. When well, you've been playing as a unit for yeah. three or four years, and then you can't even make the fucking yeah, tournament. Right. That's that's tough. The team that always has a shitload of seniors, though, is always Gonzaga. They always yeah. somehow keep those kids there. They still got Drew Timmy. Oh, do they really? Yeah, that guy's like sixty. Timmy. 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 
Yeah. Speaking of How South old Park. is that fucking dude? That's I don't the dude know. With the crazy mustache. Sixty-three. Yeah, right. <laughs> he's sixty-three years old. He's two years older. than He still coach. hasn't declared his major, so he can play. No, but like honestly, this was the very first year I didn't watch Selection Sunday at all. I didn't. I haven't watched a single basketball. I don't. Game. Watch, I'm done with it. I'm I don't just watch done. Too much. It, it, anyway. LeBron they killed. They say that guy's twenty-two. There ain't no fucking way. <laughs> that dude is definitely <laughs> fucking. He's in his forties. Not twenty-two. Right? Yeah. Uh, but that, no, that guy probably wears New Balances on the court. Those for white sure, New Balances. He's got a jean shorts and then a Gonzaga jersey Absolutely. with a with a Gonzaga fanny pack <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, all of you guys who love March Madness, I hope you have a great time. I'm not going to participate this year, but I think probably the coolest and most important thing over the last week that I have really gotten into and actually been paying attention. Wichita it, State Fire and Isaac Brown. I saw that too, but I'm okay yeah. with that too. Did you see the meme? That came out. It has Greg Garshall. Meg, Meg Garshall, <laughs> oh, yeah. and it has Greg Marshall with I'd be the fine with that. mustache, dude. That's oh, no. awesome. No, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, kind of going against Wichita State right now. They, they oh kinda, man, you yeah, guys are they, fucking fair weather just, fans. No, both no, them, no, yeah. they just kind of pissed me off. Uh, but no, the actual thing that I've been paying attention to is the World Baseball Classic. I fucking love that shit. I'm not I, interested. Why? It's great. Team USA is actually fucking stacked. You're but just, I root against the USA all the time. Okay, that's fine. But you got even Canada has Freddie Freeman on it. I still does just not interested in the world. I don't know who that is. He's, he's it's great. essentially the Olympics, and I don't right, like the Olympics. Right up your rally, by the way. Mm. Just so you know. Uh, but Fantastic. no, it's it's excellent. You got all of these guys, and it's kind of funny because it's like some of these players that are playing for like Korea or Japan. It's like, no, I'm not from there, but my mom is from there. So I guess I can kind of play for them. Your mom's Japanese. Absolutely. I didn't know that. Yeah. She's t- well, she's turning Japanese. I really think so. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm excited for that. Uh, the coolest part, I think, or the funniest part about it is what? Well, I'm sorry. Did I not give myself one? Uh, <laughs> I didn't think it was. I didn't think it warranted one, but I guess if that's what you think that look was about, then by God, hit it again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry to do this thing, JP. What yeah. is that on the bottom? Uh, <laughs> uh, careful. J- JP's trying to get a train. Feet. Train I've never sticks. seen one with feet. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, though. There's like brown shit on it. Oh, I can't talk about that. Yeah, okay. That, that happened last week. Uh, uh, the funniest part about the uh, WBC actually was the, uh, the jerseys for Great Britain. Did you see those? No, no. It looks like a fucking. We didn't see any. It looks like a word like file, like just printed across, and they were falling off. Letters were falling off of their jersey. <laughs> it's like, nice. Jesus Christ, on a on a fucking rating of one to seventeen seventy six. How shitty are these fucking uniforms? And we beat the piss out of them, so that was fine. But yeah, that's all my sports. That's okay. all my news. That's all, all right. my shit. Right we're on. Done with it. And we're moving on. Moving on. That's right. We are going to go to an old <laughs> classic of ours, which uh, I like. This is called overrated or underrated. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you have any suggestions for <laughs> the first one, I just read. It. <laughs> no, no, no. We're gonna do. We're gonna make that one last. Oh, yeah. Of course, because that's what you do. You just. Skip that's right. Around. I move around. Okay. Yeah, I keep right. you on your toes. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you have any suggestions for any of these segments, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines. These on are both. Instagram. Uh, these are all the same thing. Kind of. That's they all <laughs> work together. <laughs> they kind of do. Yeah, every last one of them. <laughs> I know. Uh, but no, we're going to go with the very yeah. first overrated or underrated. So overrated or underrated hiking. Overrated. Really? Yeah. Why? Since about uh, the time I got my car. <laughs> Why the fuck would you want to hike somewhere? That's how gay guys would hitchhiking, JP. No, we're not. That It doesn't say hitchhiking. Oh, oh, my bad. I just It says just regular ass kinda, hiking, like it's kinda fucking putting thing. on special shit and fucking <laughs> walking up a mountain. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. No. Yeah, yeah it's 100% overrated. Yeah, fuck man. that. I'm so tired of it. Get some skis or a snowboard uh, go down that way. It's way better. I have better. some friends that do that shit, like hike I, up mountains and I don't shit. Get and I'm it. like. And Why? they're they're posting pictures and they're all healthy looking. Good for you. Yeah, go fuck yourself. That's fine. Same thing yeah. with like mountain climbing. Same shit. same deal. Same shit. Yeah. It's the same shit. Yeah. How about you, Derek? Underrated. Really? Yeah. Why? Because Man, he can't do it. <laughs> I, I fucking kind of went hiking while uh, we were in Costa Rica. That's true. Good call. Okay. So I saw some amazing fucking shit. And when we were in the national park, it was absolutely fucking incredible. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go underrated. I saw a sloth. Derek's a whole new man. I he's guess. got this positive outlook. Look at him; he's Great. smiling. He's smiling. He's got a little glimmer in his still eye. Still hates football, though. Still hates yeah. football. God, I am life in general. But <laughs> in, li- in life yeah. in general, but that's a given. <laughs> that, mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Next one: overrated or underrated cockfighting? JP, what you're gonna have to clarify for <laughs> yeah, me? Yeah, I need to know. Yeah. What you mean by cockfighting? 
take it how you like. I think it, he means I like. Do. I think he means like. You remember that <laughs> pencil do. game you Two played as time. a kid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You remember that pencil game you played as a kid with the whole, yeah. but with dicks. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. we do. We, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we whoever's dick breaks we dock first em. loses. We dock them together and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. In that case, yeah. I would say super underrated. <laughs> and I'm surprised they don't show it on ESPN yet. <laughs> no, uh, chickens fighting each other. Oh, yeah. Very, very, very overrated, man. Really? Because fuck you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why yeah. that poor fucking animal didn't fucking do nothing to you? And they now you're going to. both. That's great. They make Kentucky Fried Chicken. You no, like, that's you not like, how it happens. You like Popeyes? Man. No, I don't like chicken in general because have you seen those fucking the conditions that, that the cockfighters live in? The yeah, cockfighters Jesus live Christ. in. Dude. They got a belt. All they do is cock and fight. That's right. But, no. they, but they get to carry. I don't on the like belt. animal cruelty, and for me, that's animal cruelty. Okay, fine. I, I think it's underrated. Both of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what. So I'll fucking throw you in a pen with about four of them, and then we'll see how fucking <laughs> underrated you think it is. Nope, I'm good. My a buddy of mine in high school, his dad actually raised them. Oh, for cock fighting? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Big motherfucking chickens. Oh, my God, dude. Uh -huh. How about you there, Derek? Uh, overrated. I'm kind of along the same line as JP. That's fucking horrible. The only thing I want to see get hurt animal-wise is a cat. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> now, it. strap some fucking claws on a cat like yeah. little fucking razor blades, razor on, blades the on a yeah. cat and let yeah. them go out. I, I'm sure. in there. But, yeah, chickens, nah, that's kind of mean. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> definitely, definitely not dogs because I like to play football. Yeah, Air Bud. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyways. And basketball. And That's basketball. Basketball. And baseball, really. Really. Pretty much any sport. Yep. There's no rules the, to say the donkey. The donkey's a field goal kicker, remember? The, right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated foreplay? What's that? Um, I prefer <laughs> I prefer at least five, but four is cool, too. Oh, my God. That's weird. Uh, I'm sorry. This is This is way underrated. Four plays. Way underrated. It's way underrated. Way underrated. It's the buildup. It's, oh, it's it, the best. It's the best. It's like you're you're having until fun. you're married for like three years and then I'm at nine. I'm right. still good. No, you're still doing four plays. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right fucking lutely. Yeah, because it's a buildup. I mean, it's either like whenever you come, it's either like eh, or it's just like fucking hitting the fucking ceiling kind uh -oh. of shit. Yeah, man. Fucking a right. Four plays where it's at. It's underrated. I agree. I agree. Underrated. How about you, Derek? Overrated. Yeah, you. Get in, get out. Let's, yeah, I got get shit out. to do. I, shit to <laughs> I don't do. have time for this shit. I got to get to a stupid podcast. <laughs> so, <laughs> Come here and suck my dick quick, bitch. I got, <laughs> you got five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> get it Make over Make me come. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Fine. Well, that's kind of foreplay itself. Take my seed. Take my seed. <laughs> and I don't want to see you spitting it out this time. Yeah. <laughs> you swallow. <laughs> oh, good stuff. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Farting and walking away. Tell us about it, Derek. <laughs> way yeah. underrated. Way under. Yeah, way underrated. That is the best thing, it, especially because your wife knows your brand. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, that's the only one that's gonna know. So it's kind of like a nice inside joke when you're in public. Uh huh. So yeah, that's this. And I can't. For those of you that don't know, I can't belch. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. So whenever I drink a bunch of beer, I it's got to go around. somewhere, yeah. and it comes out of my ass. <laughs> and huh. oh boy, does it smell! Oh, <laughs> if man. you have to poop. Great. No, if I'm drinking, it smells. Okay. Yeah, if I have to poop or if I'm drinking. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't poop and I drink a lot before I come over here. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. I just shit my pants right here. That's why you had to trade me stools. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He burns a fucking hole through the yeah. one he's got. So. This one feels weird. Yeah, this one's seasoned, Jim. <laughs> this one smells like poop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll take the skid marked one. Yep. Uh, this is way underrated. I There is nothing like getting on an elevator, riding it up to your floor, and an Otis, of course, as always. An Otis. Uh, you got to be on an Otis. You got to be. Yep. I wouldn't take it if it wasn't. And like two floors before you get off on your floor, just let it go. Let it fucking go. And let then it go. There's nothing let better than you. You see the doors open up. You walk out, and there's somebody there waiting to get on. Oh, it's fucking awesome. Underrated. Another great thing is whenever you're in the car with your wife, and you guys get home, <laughs> and you crack one off, and then shut the door. <laughs> and then when you guys go in to leave like a little bit later, like a couple hours later, and it's still in there. Oh, no. Oh, my. That's always That's a good when you one. need to see a doctor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Something is dead inside it is of you. Something it is, is wrong it is with great. you. Yeah. Did, you say, did you say underrated, JP? 
Um, yeah, okay. yeah, underrated. Okay. Yeah. All right. I fart really loud, so I'm, I can't get away with yeah, it. Yeah, it's fucking you know? me. That's the best kind of fart and walk away. <laughs> no, I mean, Just like, fart. fuck it. And then, no, I mean, like, when I, <laughs> if I was in the elevator and I farted, people would be like, oh, they'd be fucking hitting the deck, like, Fucking some shit just went like haywire. It's a goddamn like it's a goddamn flashbang. Yeah, like something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People wandering around all fucking dazed and confused. It's not good, man. It's a me. It is not good. <laughs> oh, the shit. power with which it comes out of me. Gary, is that yeah. you, Gary? <laughs> I fog. blew a guy's dick off once. <laughs> oh, God, that was foreplay. Yeah, that was foreplay. Yeah. Also known underrated. As cock, also known also as cockfighting. Cock yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and slang terminology for hiking. Right, well, you got to hike to get there. Oh, yeah. that's right. Okay. All he right. Hiked up his ass and ripped one out. <laughs> Hike up one cheek and... Oh, shit. All right. Down the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. Overrated or underrated. Spanking your children. Beat their ass. <laughs> if you don't, I'll do it for you. I was just getting ready to say, what if it's spanking other people's children? It's way both. more fun. Yeah, I'll do both. Uh, if you don't, That's we the will. only reason I have to hand I have to, if any time that I'm around kids that are like under 18, I have to hand out paperwork. And that's, <laughs> that's one awkward. of the reasons. It's, yeah. yeah. I underrated. I, uh, it's it's way underrated. I can't believe that they it doesn't happen. And I know this is a parenting fucking thing. I'm not gonna, you know, knock you for whatever you do. But I remember whenever my I I my other family, my best friend, uh, I would go over to his house, and I mean belts were involved, motherfucker. Oh yeah, dude. We yeah. I got the belt. I'm I'm yeah. old enough. We got the belt. Mama Lori wasn't fucking holding it back too, and my mom gave her permission. If he gets out of line, you have every no. And see, that's badass. That's such yeah. a thing with our parents or even you know grandparents. Yeah, when you went to stay the night somewhere, yeah. the first thing my mom did was get on the phone with the parents and be like, "Look, if that little asshole gets out of line, <laughs> you have my permission to just whack the fuck out of him." Absolutely. You, you do not put up with that. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Yeah, it for was, sure. It was fucking weird. My mom had like a fucking like paddle that looked like a cricket mallet. <laughs> that's nice. what she used. But yeah. No, Mama Lawyer yeah, or Mama Lori. Oh yeah. Oh, that's the worst. It's fucking yeah. worse. But Fuck no, yeah. belt belt was way belt worse. Belt was bad. Mama Lori and the oh, belt was yeah. fucking worse. Many a bru- many a bruises, many a welts, many. Oh yeah, Across, I got the belt and it a lot. And it wasn't your butt. No, it was, it was wherever. Yeah, because yeah. as soon as I turned to run, he'd just start just, fucking swinging, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. I can tell you right now, Mama Lori and the belt, one time. That's all it took? No. I, I'm oh, out. I wish it was only one time. Well, you like that. I started, I I started to kind of like it. That's, yeah. it. That's what I'm <laughs> I got the spoon. Ooh, yeah. Wow, yeah. My I grandma used that. a wooden spoon. Well, I, mine stopped. My mother stopped with a wooden spoon because she kept breaking them. So she got a metal <laughs> So it went one. to the Rubbermaid. Oh. oh yeah, yeah, I hear somebody stir lemonade in my Dude, asshole. Those actually, <laughs> those have like the same, like oh. kind of like a golf club. They have that flex. Oh, yeah. And then, bam. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Shit. That's a motherfucker. <laughs> when we moved as a child, oh. when we moved when I was like 12, she found like nine spoons. Cause I hit because him all over the fucking house. That bitch ain't gonna whip yeah. me again. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you and your macaroni. That's Stir right. it with something else. Pampered <laughs> chef and kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that is overrated or underrated, and we are moving right along to a new segment. I like this one. This is called "What Would You Do." I'm gonna put you in a situation. You can tell me what you do. All right. Uh, so what, what? 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 What would you do? First one. Your boss texts you on your day off. Oh, that's easy. Yeah? It happens all the time. Yeah? Yeah. And you respond? I do whatever she asks, uh-huh. and then fucking I go on about my day because she Ooh, takes really yeah. good care of me, and uh, I love my boss. God, are we all that way, I think? I, I'm, I'm going to say, like, I'll I... I'll do whatever she wants, man. I, I, I'm kind of... Day off, day, it doesn't matter. I have three bosses, so yeah. th- there's a group of them, but the, if any of those three guys text me, or even the owner texts me, I'm fucking responding to that. Yeah, my boss Absolutely. is the owner, too, so yeah. And that's cool, yeah. I, yeah. I've got tears and shit, yeah. but, but... And they will. They'll text me on my days off, ask oh, me questions. All hey, the what time, you doing? Man. You want to go out for a beer after work, something yeah. like that? Oh, yeah, I'm answering. Absolutely, 100%. How are cool. you, Derek? Yeah, we're closed if, anyway, so I don't give a <laughs> like, what do you What do you want? I just, <laughs> Beer? Yeah, Why are like, you texting me? Right? Some people would be like, ah, fuck that guy. I'm out. But nope, not us. We obviously have cool bosses. Yeah. All right, next one. What would you do? You have 24 hours. It's out- bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> okay. 
You have 24 hours to live. What would you do? Justin Bieber. <laughs> okay. What? That's it? That's gonna, how you're going to wrap it up? I, I swear to God, <laughs> if you're listening, <laughs> if I could just fuck Justin Bieber one time, I would drop dead the drop minute dead. after, and I would Go be away. so happy. He's uh, damn near paralyzed. Yeah, so I think, almost. You know, oh. fell off of a hobby horse. Yeah, yeah, that happens. <laughs> I know. Shit happens. It does. Hobby horsing is no joke. It is not. It's dangerous. It is. Fucking sick. I saw you posted. Uh, I know. Yeah, I did. I saw that. We kept, uh, thank you for all of you guys send, uh, sending that to me because it was fucking funny. Um, dude, if I had 24 hours to live, I know I just got back from there, but that is my heaven. Uh, being at the top of a mountain, I'm snowboarding all fucking day. Don't care. That's my shit. So that's mine. Derek? Well, I'm going to get together with all my nieces and nephews and about 20, <sighs> about 23 hours and 50 minutes in, and then I'm going to play the most insane game of hide and seek ever, <laughs> and I'm hiding, <laughs> oh, and God. I'm going to find the best spot, <laughs> and I'm if you don't find me, you will smell me eventually. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that true. is what I'm doing. I am playing an epic game of hide and go seek. Hide in the refrigerator. We could play hide and go seek right now. And, uh, <laughs> I will. You guys if you count hide, to ten. I guarantee you'll win. <laughs> yeah, you guys go. Yeah. To, you guys count to ten. I'll play. I'll play like I play with my nieces and nephews. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you guys hide. I'll come seek you. As soon as they run away, I'm back on the fucking Xbox. Oh, for yeah. sure. Uh, next one. Uh, you get walked in on doing the dirty. What would you Has do? Has happened. It has happened to me too, dude. So yeah, so I was at my mom's. Was it was it when you were younger, when you were fucking a girl, or oh older? no, it was a dude. Oh okay. yeah, <laughs> dude, yeah. So that's I, how she found out. My mom lives a block and a half from the from the old fantasy club. Fantasy from the club. It, it was a gay bar. It's a gay oh, bar. Oh okay, I didn't know. Block and a half. So I meet a guy out there one night and whatever and I'm takes like, him back. He's like, I just want to take some photographs. I'm fucking drunk and I'm like, Man, my sister is not home right now. I know that. And let's just go back to my mom's house. I was like, It's fucking a block and a half away. We don't have to fucking drive that far. Okay, he's in. And I mean, we are mid fuck. <laughs> and of course I didn't call it's fucking two thirty quarter to three i didn't call or text or anything hey mom i'm gonna be at the house you know don't open the door you might see me fucking another dude <laughs> so she opens the door thinking maybe my sister had come home or something and i have never seen an old woman run as fast as she ran i i i fucking jumped up and i threw a fucking blanket around me and i'm like mom mom and she is fucking running to the opposite side gets to her room Runs in the room, slams the door. I'm like, Mom, I'm knocking on the door. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She goes, I don't want to fucking talk about it, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fucking, and, dude, we never did again. Oh. It never even got brought back up. Like, I, to this day, that, that was it. Until this, uh, this until story this, goes until viral. Until this yeah, story, yeah. dude. Oh, man. I mean, and it's bad enough if your mom walks in and you fucking a girl and you're a dude. But oh, when you, she walks shit. in and your balls deep in another dude, that is something you cannot unsee. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i uh it has also happened to me and i'm not gonna lie i froze i froze and it there was i remember it was yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was yeah, jp grabbed a towel i was the one that had to run around yeah. yeah i i had the younger catholic school girlfriend whose mom is very religious and her daughter is very horny. Yeah. And we thought they had left, and we we're downstairs doing the no. dirty, and she walked in with her daughter on top of me. There's Scotty, dude, just frozen just in his frozen, helmet. Dude. I yeah. just like, I, what do you do? I mean, you're. Oh, you're, she hits you in the head because <laughs> you have your helmet on. No, you finish is what you do. Oh, and so you that's what. No, I'm just it. kidding. No, it, it, she, it was. Did she start throwing Bibles at you and shit? She she basically. was oh yeah, man, Puerto Rican lady. Oh, oh no, it was bad. Ooh, I'm surprised you didn't get your get dick cut shot. off. Shot, yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, that ain't no shit. They don't fuck around. You just man. getting sandals thrown at his head. <laughs> yeah, flip flops. Just we definitely don't talk anymore. I can tell you that I, right I now. Bet. I bet. So yeah, yeah, I, I froze. That's what I did. Derek, what's the question again? Uh, you get walked right. in on doing the dirty. Ow. What would you do? Um. I said, wait your turn. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> did Derek ac or did Derek ever tell you the time I accidentally was? Well, I got really fucked up and accidentally kind of walked in into his bedroom while Derek was trying to. 
Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah, it was uh, one of the nights where I got super, super drunk at your house. That's a lot of times. Uh, uh-huh. But I we ended up staying the night over there, and somehow you told me that I kind of somehow was in your bedroom for some reason. I know you were in our bedroom at one point, and yeah, you I said you were, that. yeah, Psst. and you were trying to <laughs> sleep yet. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, is she asleep yet? Come uh, on. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, yeah, Somehow I ended up in your bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Next thing you know, I had your dick down my throat. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. I guess I was sleep sucking. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, man. All That's right. awesome. Next one. You're alone in a forest and then you come face to face with a bear. What do you do? I ask him if he thinks the NFL is rigged. <laughs> is that what you do? Yeah. And even he knows it's not. Depends. It could be Brian Erlacher, it could be Richard Dent. It <laughs> yeah, could it be, could be any of them. Lance Briggs, Willie Galt. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I I have been told you play dead for some. No, su- that's uh, not what you do, on man. Su- for brown bears, you play dead. You, yeah. you get in the field position. Black bears, on the other hand, you... You try to scare them, puff you, up. You puff that's up. That's what I was going to say, man. Yeah, you, you try to I'd be like, as bring it, as bear. Possible. Yeah. Uh, but, Fuck you up. Yeah, I... Oh, dude, bears... Like, okay, you've heard the people that are, like, saying... Um, who would win in a fight between like a silverback gorilla or a bear? It's a fucking bear and it's not even close. Bears are fucking ridiculous animals. Dude, I would Nuts. fucking gut it and then I would sleep inside of it like a bear? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I would do if I came face to face with it. Okay, sure. I'm a, Fuck yeah. When that gets when that happens, I want you to tell tell a bear, hold on a second. Let me call my buddy Scotty. I'm gonna video yeah. this. That's what you gotta do. Yeah, no problem. You're yeah. actually supposed to run downhill. Oh yeah, in, his, in a zigzag pattern. Well, yeah, if you run downhill like that, like because they, they're top they roll, heavy, they're gonna yeah. roll. Yeah. yeah, that's smart. Oh, that is kind of smart. But, and, uh, hopefully, it's, you're not in Kansas because it's gonna. <laughs> yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> by the time you get to a hill, yeah. it's gonna have you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can watch your dog yeah. run away for days. Yeah, uh, but no, I did not realize this either. Like how they can climb trees. No, no, no. Like and they pol- like picnic okay, baskets. So, <laughs> ha- ha- do you know how bloodthirsty polar bears are? Oh yeah, they don't. Like, mm. like Coca Cola fucked it up for a whole bunch of people, making yeah. them look all sweet and cuddly. They Bullshit! Yeah. They put a. There was a guy that was like doing some kind of research in a in a clear plexiglass like deal that he was sitting in and just observing on a on a fucking glacier piece of ice, and this fucking polar bear just kept on getting closer and closer, like jumping ice like things. Yeah. And, he was like trying to get into that plexiglass. It looks like he's just trying to, you know, trying to figure it out. He's just kind of curious. No, oh, no, they're very smart too. They are trying yeah, to fucking brilliant. eat you. They oh, can yeah. smell you and from miles. What? Yeah, they're smart. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah, I'm terrified when yeah. it comes to bears. All right. Uh, last one. What? 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 What would you do? You're invited to go on the first commercial trip to outer space. What would you do? I am pulling my dick out and jacking off so I can see <laughs> floating jizz. I would just. <laughs> And I want to see JP then, try to catch would, it on his tongue. And then I just. would be like Pac-Man. <laughs> and I would hope to hit the power pellet. <laughs> God. That's fucked. I wouldn't go. I'm I'm no, I'm not going. I said you're invited. You know you're not in it already. If you're in it already, I'm losing my fucking mind. I a mind is blown by that point. I've heard I've heard people that see it for the first time and they're like, this is not real. This is fucking fake as shit. So. Yeah, and you think I'm dumb because I think the NFL's rigged. Oh no, it's just it's <laughs> it's like a fucking it's it's a it's only an experience like a handful of people have ever yeah, experienced. True, it's I would totally nuts. go. It'd be awesome. You'd be fucking high as hell going oh, too. I sure would. That that launch. I'd be smoking nightmare. the whole way. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And with Elon Musk, you could do it. And Snoop Dogg. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. Space Me, X, that Snoop shit. Dogg, Elon Musk. We're oh, going to space, for baby. Sure. All right. Uh, well, that is uh, what would you do again? If you guys have any suggestions, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. If you don't already follow us on Instagram, do that because TikTok don't like us right now. Uh, but we're gonna move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, we're gonna start off with the first question. This is a question from a listener. This is from Jeff Friedman. He wants to know what is something a person does that is an immediate red flag. I'm going to say whenever they – we make jokes and shit on here all the time, but when someone that I don't really know immediately tries to make, like, a racist comment, expecting me to go along with it, mm-hmm. that. That's a good one. That fucking – oh, that's the worst. Yeah. yeah, because it sucks that they know you're racist. <laughs> <laughs> It sucks that they have you figured out that fast. You don't know. You like to be a little more mysterious. No, like I like today. I had a guy. It was it was a 
they were talking about like the FDIC about the banks closing and shit. And yeah. like, well, those guys got all their money back. They're too busy trying to figure out what gender people are. And, I'm, and the wife's like, oh, Harold. And I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, you guys, I don't even want to help you guys. Oh, like, you guys are stupid. Yeah, you're right. The uh, guy, yeah, the yeah, their bar, their bar joke, the that, that actually yeah, bar jokes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that for shit, sure. man. Like yeah. when they just look at me, they're like, "Oh, that guy for sure." I had that happen at the, at the job I'm at. Like, I don't know how many days in a row. Like one lady was talking about, uh, asked what Juneteenth was and why we were closed, and I told her, and she's like, "Well, that's we'll get so and so back in, and they'll fix all that." And I'm uh, like, "Oh my uh, god!" Uh, <laughs> and, then, and then like a week later, right after Russell Wilson got that deal, and a guy's got a Denver shirt on, and I said something about, "Hey, you know, you guys got Russell Wilson. Are you excited?" And he's like. Ah, they shouldn't have paid that. And he dropped the end no. bomb and goes, all oh, that money. Way. You know what I mean? And I'm like. You know what I mean, I'm going to go dude. over here. Like, I don't <laughs> know. So, and we should probably expect it more being In that we live where we live. But it's such a shock. Oh, that dude. in this day and age, people can still be that fucking stupid. <clears throat> yeah, I'm like, I didn't that fucking ignorant. hear that. Like, the it's first, crazy, Yeah, dude. the first time I'm like, I didn't hear that. I live and on. then he said it again, and I was <laughs> like. Okay, I heard that. I, I live on another planet. I, I have to live on another. I don't experience any of this. Dude, I don't know how. <laughs> I literally have heard people screaming out of their car windows oh, at people walking down the street. I live in a different word, world. Uh, uh, there, was, there was some Arabian guys that were standing outside a quick trip one time, and two cars that passed by maybe were caught yelling know. racial slurs and go back to your country you towel head son of a bitch and yeah. this and that. i'm yeah. like dude how is that even fucking possible dude i don't know i think i don't i don't get it i i definitely don't get I it don't definitely get it. don't like I just it don't. but like yeah. i don't experience it ever i went to a public yeah. school where it was like 50 50 all of my bet my Same. my best friends are black guys like i don't i don't ever see it and it's like friends. i don't friends yeah. Yeah, that we know you're lying. We've I've, you don't we've have been friends. Yeah, yeah. Spud and me and you are my best friends and we've been friends since we were 6 and 7 years old. You, and, just, and you I, just don't have friends. And if we talked to either one of them, they would confirm They'd the whole like friend Scotty. story. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Okay. So, I don't know. Scotty? I just don't I just don't get. It. Um <laughs> okay. so What's he look like? Let me see a picture of him. Red flag for me. Really, this is a this is a telltale sign that somebody's an absolute douchebag if they leave a shitty tip. Oh yeah, yeah. If they yeah. leave oh, a shitty tip. Well, then let me let me be the one to assure you there are a lot of douchebags <laughs> running around you. this city. That's yeah. right. But even if you get shitty service, you should always. I got a really a really shitty tip from somebody one time, just not that long ago. Actually, probably about six to eight months ago. Somebody that I had seen, somebody that's very famous here in Wichita, somebody that you would absolutely know who they were if I told you the name. And tell me off somebody there. who I thought was really fucking cool and still might be okay. But I know they have money. Mm -hmm. And the dude tipped me 7%. And look, man, I'm fucking good at my job. Mm -hmm. I've been doing it a long time, and I'm gay. Of course I'm good at waiting tables. Absolutely. So I know I fucking gave you better than 7 fucking percent service. Ooh. And yeah, I'll, I'll tell you who it was off air, but it was, it was kind of crazy. What's their name rhyme with? <laughs> <laughs> I bet I know who he's talking about. Is it an athlete? No. 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 Okay. no. Is it he's Garrison a, Schmorg? No. Okay. I can't say. I can't. Okay. If I tell you, I, uh, yeah. You'll, you'll tell me after. Yeah, I'll tell you after. Okay. Fine. I'll tell you off the air. Okay. Um, next one. I didn't get an answer, but it's cool. Man. Oh, no. Go for it. I'm sorry. No, I don't uh, want to now. No. What's your red flag? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime a girl walks up to me. That's a red flag. Yep. Yep. I don't want to talk to him. Nope. I don't want to fuck him. Mm -hmm. I don't. I just didn't yeah. fuck you. Okay. I yeah. just want to hear that no. story where one girl walks up to you and like just goes, "I have a boyfriend." I really want to. <laughs> so do I, bitch. Like, I know. I, I know. I know. I kicked him out of my house this morning. I had to go to work. <laughs> I just want to see that. No, I would time. say when when you meet somebody <laughs> and they immediately. Hey man, you know where I can score some ice, or you know where I can score oh, some meth? Yeah, that's bad. Uh, that's not good. Not and a good time. I, and I, being in the gay community, a lot of us have really bad mental problems, and uh, you know, sucking dick will do that to you. <laughs> and uh, man, there's so much going on. I mean, you'll yeah. be I'll be talking to a guy online, and the next thing you know, he's like, "Man, you want to come over and smoke?" And I'm like, "Smoke what? You know, <laughs> weed? Yes. yes. Cock? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> meth?" <laughs> no thanks yeah but yeah it, it's crazy that's how that's forward people are with that shit yeah. man yeah <clears throat> all right good all enough. right uh next one <laughs> naturally 
Things straight men should never say. Um, I'll have a strawberry daiquiri. <laughs> yeah? Def- most definitely. I remember waiting tables one time, and this dude fucking comes up, and he's like, so what can I get for you to drink, man? And he's like, I want something strong. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, how about a Long Island? It's got five different liquors in it. Yeah. He's like, is the strawberry daiquiri strong? <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> sure is, like, buddy. And then we had a guy that was gay that was bartending. He's like, how about a Long Beach? <laughs> he's like, what's that? And he's like, it's like a Long Island, but it's got cranberry juice instead of Coke. And he's like, oh, I wanted him. I'm like, God, God damn, damn, man. Is the strawberry daiquiri strong? No. No, it is. No, it's not, John Coffee. It's not. Yeah. Mm. Man, I just can't trust a fart right now. That's mine. A okay. Little, a little loose. I don't know. Is hmm. that a red flag? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, you, you, you eat a Texas Day Brazil. You can't trust farts for probably <laughs> yeah. a good day. I can't trust farts half the time. I've shit my pants like practically on the show. But I don't know. I just, I don't know. I can't think of really a really good one. I don't know. I think that straight men should never say, I can't, I won't even be able to get hard <laughs> because I've proved him wrong again <laughs> and again <laughs> and again. <laughs> God, that's fucking weird. All right, next one. I like my women like I like my blank. Buffets. Oh, yeah? I like my women like I like my buffets. Okay. Cheap and full of bad choices. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I've got nothing. I got nothing for this. I, I, I have absolutely no idea. I, I I like my women to be responsible and loyal, whatever that is. So yeah, that's right it. on. How about you, JP? I like my women like I like my hikes. <laughs> I fucking hate hiking. <laughs> <laughs> We've already talked about this. Yes, we have. <clears throat> okay, uh, next one. In the 1950s, psychologists prescribed blank as a cure for homosexuality. Cocaine. <laughs> and ironically, it backfired because those men soon ended up sucking dick for more cocaine. That is a true story. It's exactly what happened. Uh, yeah. Uh, nerve gas. Nerve gas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That cures him. Okay. Permanently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. JP? Mm-hmm. Church. <laughs> okay. That's true. <laughs> no, absolutely. It works. Yeah. 100%. It works? 100%. Man. It worked. worked for me. Yeah, sure did. Yeah. All right. Uh, next, or sorry, last question. Obscure things that need to be surrounded by orange traffic cones so it can be avoided. Um, <laughs> a poop in the hallway <laughs> of an aircraft. I knew it. Oh, That's what boo. Was. Damn it. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> you didn't even get nothing for that, man. You got nothing. Oh, man. You got a oh, whole sorry. fucking pad full bad. of shit over yeah. there, and you get nothing. All right. I, okay. I liked it. I like it. Uh, I'm going to go with a fart. You got to move the cones around. I think that'd be great. You could just invisibly put cones wherever the fuck you want. What? Do you think, do you think that was a good answer, I, Derek? Let's uh, 100 people on the board survey <laughs> says. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to have to go to the next family member. I wanted the poop. That's the low-hanging fruit for the non-comedian. Scotty's, Scotty's like that family where they're like, what's something you call your grandma? And they're like, mama. Okay, next. Mama. No, that doesn't work. Mima. No. Yeah. Uh, how about you, JP? I would say... They don't do it, but I think it would be awesome if instead of picking up roadkill, they just set cones around it all. <laughs> and eventually, it would just all be cones. <laughs> like, everything would be cones. Fuck yeah, that'd be all that'd right. That'd be dope. In Costa Rica, they just spray paint around potholes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like a like, white circle uh, around it. I'm like, oh. you know, Like, pay attention to the line. Yeah. Oh, That's shit. cool. All right. All right, guys. Well, that is questions and preguntas. Again, if you have any suggestions for any of these segments, you can send them to us at our uh, oh yeah, our TikTok or our Instagram at Laughing on the Sidelines. But now we get to move on to a very fun part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, last week, of course, Jeremy Joseph won. Shocker. Oh, I can't believe it. That's hard to believe. Right? He could have said nothing. He could have said Nolan won. Ryan, and he would have yeah, won. No, yeah, you're right. 
But uh, so uh, Jeremy won, and so he gets the invisible hand job from JP. Yes, yes, well, he, does. he does. I've given it to him already. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fair enough. Off, off, off camera or on camera? Because we got to share that shit if it was on camera. He wouldn't do it on camera. Oh, damn it. All right, well, anyways, uh, this week's draft, uh, we got uh, Derek is going to be the uh, first pick. Uh, JP gets second pick, and because I got second I get the championship picks. I won on a technicality. This Very is Very good. Bullshit. Good for you, man. Fuck. Uh, but I like this week's draft. This is one where it's going to spread a lot of knowledge and experience, I think, a little bit. This is the worst parts about adulting. Mm-hmm. That means the worst parts about being an adult draft. Right on. So those of you who are still in college listening to the show, take notes, motherfuckers. Uh, Derek, you get the first pick of this draft. What do you got? Paying bills. God damn it. That's the definite nope. 101. Yeah. Okay. That's the worst. Yeah. God, that is the definite Bad. 101. It's not great. It's, it sucks. It really it's fucking sucks. Great. Uh, JP, you get your first pick. Taxes. Damn. Fuck. That sucks. God damn it. It's you bullshit. guys are fucking on the money. Uh, well, not uh, – well, I'm going to take my first pick, which is having to get up and go to work. Which one? Yeah. Not being able to sleep in. Okay. 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 So okay. Yeah. waking up early. Uh, yes, that's right. Waking right. up early. Okay. And then having to go to work. So job. Okay. That's Job. I'll just cross that off my list. <laughs> yeah. It's, that fucking sucks. That's the one-two punch. Man. You don't get to do any of that shit unless you're a multi-billionaire. Yeah. Go figure. All right, uh, JP, what's your next one? Next one is uh, you can't run around the yard naked anymore. (laughs) No, Uh, you can't. I I mean, you can, but the police will be called. (laughs) You get a sign in your yard. It's like a a prize. Right. Uh, So, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, how about you there, Derek? You don't get a summer vacation. No summer. No. You kind of do. No, you don't. You don't get three months yeah, off. No that, sure. that, that's yeah. true. To just I guess. sit around yeah. and watch MTV and eat yeah. Captain Crunch. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, and you get one more there, Derek. Having responsibilities. Oh, that's like a lot of shit. Like all lumped into one. Okay. He still said it. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, that's going gonna- who died and made you the fucking boss? I did. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's see. JP, what um, you got? The diapers. They're huge. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're huge. Diapers. The yeah, diapers. I mean, see how big they are in my size. Yeah, right. That's why. Um, I got one that I think I can hold on to for the very end, so I don't think I'm going to take it, but I get two in a row. Uh, and I'm going to go with having to take care of children. Okay. Being a parent. Being a parent. Being a parent. Okay. And everybody's like, oh, but being a parent's the best thing. Fuck you. Dude, no, it's not. No. It's you see all- how hard parents go whenever they go out and they don't have <laughs> yeah, the kids? They yeah. They go fucking hard. Like, no kids? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> But I, he's so special. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, fuck he is. I was going to take that, but I'm not going to. I, um, I'll That'll be my honorable mention if it's not taken. I'm going to go with having random aches and pains on your body. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That shit happens. You'll mm-hmm. fucking sleep. You'll go to sleep, and you'll wake up and barely be able to move. I, I, forgot, I know a dude that fucking, like, pulled a muscle while he was sitting down. Like, that's yeah, well. fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and he, I can't say it. Oh, I almost got in trouble. Okay. Oh, I'm glad I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> Good thing. Oh, Inside man. voices, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How about you, JP? Um, you look weird being at the mall. Yeah. Ooh, um, yeah. And as a gay yeah. man, that fucking sucks. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, I'm licking the glass at Ab- Abercrombie, but I mean, it shouldn't be that weird. Uh, kind of, you know. Uh, Derek, you get two, and it's your last two picks. Uh, voting for people you don't like. Ooh, okay. That's a good one. That's a good That's one. A good one. You don't have to, by the way. Yeah, yeah. You just don't. Just, just and saying. And then you don't get to complain. Oh, no, yeah. You, you definitely <laughs> do. Uh, but anyways, your next pick. Um, 
realizing that your best years are behind you, and so you start worrying about your own mortality, and you wish you were a child. Again. <laughs> so worrying about <laughs> death. <laughs> no, that was the whole thing. I'm not typing all that uh, out. <laughs> that is my answer, Scott. <laughs> okay, we'll see if it fits. All right, JP. <laughs> I am going to go with heartburn. Okay. All right. It's That's fucking shit. And it happens when you get old and you can't stop it. I, uh, I, I'm kind of actually shocked that this one kind of came back to me. Uh, because if you make the wrong decisions... You get to go to jail. You do as a kid. Big too. boy yeah, you jail. You can go to jail as a kid. Oh, no. You go to juvie. There's yeah, a 14 well, year old kid getting tried as an adult yeah, in Wichita Not to mention, right dude, now. <laughs> juvie now with these fucking badass motherfuckers is no picnic, I bet. Yeah. Hold my pocket. <laughs> Hold my pocket. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a that's good one. Good. Jail's cool. Jail's yeah. cool. I yeah. think I think the 101 by far is Bills. Oh, for I, sure. I think that one's definitely there. I was going to use this one, but I decided not to because it kind of goes with Bills. But like spending money when you already are in debt, like that is a shitty fucking feeling. Oh, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Seems like Shut what up, I do Will every of Fortune day. Over here. That's dead on, dude. You can both go fuck up, fuck <laughs> off. Like Wheel of Fortune. I would trade I'm on you your bank side. Accounts. Any day, <laughs> either one of you. I know. Yeah, buying presents. Yeah, buying presents. Oh yeah, that's, that's a, good a kid. One. You're just like, I'm going that's to a birthday a, yeah. party. I need a present for Gerald. That's yeah. like the. That's like the. And the, you don't even know who the fuck Gerald is at yeah. all. It's fuck like, Gerald. Fuck. You know what? God damn it! I should have said that. Kids' birthday parties are the worst fucking things on the face of the planet. As an adult. Oh, yeah. as an adult, yeah. they're awful. Too no, bad you didn't say it. No scheduled naps anymore. That's, that's right. Another yeah. That's another one. You have, to be, you have to be a chaperone, uh, chaperone at a fucking dance or some bullshit. Right, yeah. Fuck that. And then I said being thankful for rain. Like, I, boy, we sure could use some rain. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's what I knew. I was old when I was it like. It could rain for 12 days and 12 nights straight. And there's some asshole going, boy, the we, crops sure could use some rain. I'm that guy. Uh, nice. I, I love fucking rain. That's when I knew I was getting old because I was like, I went from, all right, snow to, oh, fuck, snow. Oh, fuck. And then it's like, oh, it's raining out to, oh, we needed the rain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking true, though. Uh. Rain's the shit. Thunderstorms are awesome, and uh, yeah, I love it. But anyways, guys, that, right. yeah, that is our draft for this week. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines podcast. I know, it's saying it's just laughing on the sidelines. And you can click on the corresponding emoji of the list that you like best for the worst parts about adulting draft. Vote for JP. Vote for me, man. Yeah. I need the boot ego boost. That's right. Uh, <laughs> now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and sadly not Legos. No. No, no not Legos. We're going to have to bring no. it to But I, else. I did have a bit of a Jeremy moment, kind of. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. What you uh, got? Uh, I had a lady at work. I was downstairs pooping. Uh-huh. And uh, That's one does. <laughs> she was getting ready to leave for the day, and she messages me and is like, I need you back upstairs like fast, like now. And so I go upstairs, and she's like, some random dude just Facebook messaged me and was like, hey, nice profile. And a friend of mine, like a friend of hers right before that had tagged her in something about when you say something unhinged when someone sends some dude just randomly slides in your DMs, some meme or something. She's like, I need something really weird to respond to him with. I really want something kind of just out there. I usually say, like, weird stuff, but I, my mind's going blank right now. And so I thought for a few minutes. And I came up with this. <laughs> and I sent it. <laughs> it said, hey, nice profile pic. I said, thanks. The name's Jillian, but my friends call me Creature. <laughs> uh, you may have heard of me. I'm actually a talent scout. <laughs> have you ever heard of the all-nude male gymnast group, the Scro Tumblers? <laughs> I discovered them back when they were doing cartwheels outside of a Long John Silver in Muskogee, Oklahoma. <laughs> Apparently, as you can tell, I have an eye for talent. I don't think he ever responded. <laughs> but I was pretty proud of that. Very nice. Very, very good job. 
Oh, that's that, that's better than a hi hat, Billy. <laughs> my my friends call me Creature. <laughs> <laughs> what a nickname that would be! You know? That would be awesome. Speaking uh, of creatures, I was sitting there watching TV with my father-in-law this weekend, and they had some lady that was on a uh, one of those talk shows or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or it was a girl, and she was on a giant unicycle, like one of those fucking really fifteen foot yeah. jobs things, right? And she's got uh, plates on her feet. And she's flipping them up, and she's catching them on her head, and they're stacking, and they're stacking. And I looked at my stepdad, and I go, how do you figure out you have that talent? <laughs> yeah. You know what I think I'd be good at. <laughs> yeah. How does that happen? Like, you're, you've got to be born into that. Like, I yeah. can't imagine just one no. day you're eating a bowl of cereal, and you're like, oh, shit, and it drops. You just catch it on your foot, and then flip it up flip and catch it, it on yeah, your head. Yeah. And you're like... Wait Hang on, I got something with this. <laughs> Dad, take me to the unicycle store. <laughs> Not the normal one, the giant one. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to need an extension for this <laughs> unicycle. Yeah. Anyways. Sorry, that was way the fuck out there. But that's okay. It makes it me works. wonder. Uh, no, this uh, this shitty situation is also sponsored by uh, BattleconCarePackages.com. Uh, um, th- these guys are awesome people. I know that they have a huge dance that's coming up, uh, but and that's awesome. But you chaperoning? No, I'm uh, not. No, no, uh, I won't be able to make it. Uh, but no, seriously, BattleCoreCarePackages.com is an excellent, uh, basically nonprofit organization that makes a whole bunch of like uh, care kits for kids that are in in the hospital and going through some serious shit. Uh, we we've been uh, dealing with them for uh, for a long, long time. It's been over a year now. And uh, they're an awesome nonprofit. We sincerely do wish uh, you guys could go and check them out uh, and donate anything that you can have. I know that they have a huge dance coming up, and it's really a big event for them. Um, so anything to help put that off or put that on and have it be successful would be great. So any help that you can do, uh, we would sincerely appreciate it. The kids would sincerely appreciate it, uh, and so would BattleCornCarePackages.com. So check them out. Okay, now to the funny. We gotta get back to the funny. Back That's, to the funny. Yeah, it's kind of a down one, but you know we gotta get it back up, right? Okay. Uh, so this week's uh, <laughs> shitty situation. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> You're trying to get us all fired. I didn't say it. Oh, you wrote it. <laughs> oh, that's just as good as saying it. <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. That's bad. I didn't say it. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. All right. Uh, but now this week's laughing on the sidelines <sighs> shitty situation is would you rather <laughs> have to spank any child that is out of hand <laughs> in a public place? So anytime that child is losing his shit and the parents don't do anything, you have to go up and spank that child. Or would you rather rather be the gay conversion camp counselor to try to talk somebody out of being gay? Well, you have to convert them. I'll go first. I'll them. go first because <laughs> you want obviously to be, I want to be the want counselor. To <laughs> yeah, I mean, shit, that's <laughs> easy. That's usually easy. It's, usually it's for kids, so that's a little creepy. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I, uh, yeah, this <laughs> this like, isn't for kids there. though. No, this is for 18 this or above. This is for 18 or yeah, above. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. 18 to 20. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you're like, no. No, if they can drink, then they they don't need me. That's true. <laughs> uh, yeah. You, I just can't I, go around spanking people's kids. I oh God. can't do so it, man. Could you imagine? Come with yeah, it, yeah, right. The consequences. Did you just touch my kid, motherfucker? Like, yeah. Yeah, Mom, I touched him. Mama Lori would buck, fucking no, bust out done, the belt. Dude. Yeah, oh. forget it. Uh, I I I don't know. I probably I don't want to. I don't want to get into a fight with a dad. Yeah, you know, at at a public place. Well, you can also get in a fight with a dad if you're. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. if he finds yeah. out what you've been doing to his kids. Yeah, that's true. If, if if your mom <laughs> calls his mom, <laughs> right, and I, I lets you know what they just saw at three forty five in the in morning. The morning. <laughs> yeah. I, I can legitimately see JP going. Yeah, you don't want to be gay. Yeah. Wink, <laughs> <laughs> wink. wink. Yeah. Oh boy. I know, but I think I could talk some kids out of being gay. I doubt it. I'm pretty sure I could. Only if you told them you were gay and they had to sleep with you if they wanted to be gay. <laughs> no. You've got a face only it's a voluntary up. cell. It's fucked know. up. It's fucked up either way, but like, I don't know. You can't know. just go around spanking other people. You just can't kids. do that. You can't. You're yeah. going to get. You're I want sh- to. You're going to get shot. Is I what's fuck, happen. Yeah, I want to. You just can't do you that. You just can't man. do it. You're just going to get shot. 
Yeah. Uh, but the other thing is, is like I really don't care. I mean, obviously, also, obviously, also, I don't if care. you're a conversion camp counselor, you're gonna get shot. <laughs> yeah. Not the same. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. No shit. I, I gotta go with the camp counselor, man. Cool. That's 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 what yeah. I'm gonna roll with. I can't imagine. I, I'm just gonna let you know. I'm gonna be very terrible at my job and be like, you just do you, dude. <laughs> do you, do you, <laughs> just do you, man. <laughs> it's do whatever you, you want. Just don't just leave me out of it. All How right. about you, Derek? You know. I'm going to go with the spanking kid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go. They, they Derek, say, has, Derek has this fucking fetish, and it is just beating the shit out of somebody else's kids. That's when are, they're acting up. When they're acting yeah. up. That's yeah. what he wants to do. Yeah. I, they say that uh, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, boy, oh, boy. I love beating kids. Yeah. <laughs> beating that would kids. just... Just uh, like yesterday at Cold Stone Creamery, I'd have loved to knock the fuck out of this little bastard. Yeah. <laughs> I watched his dad tell him no, no, no about four times. That's three times too many. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, smack. Yeah, absolutely. No, no, no ice cream for you, motherfucker. Yeah. You're going to want to put that on that bruise. <laughs> Keep it from right. swelling. No, I'm not going to need any ice cream. I'm going to need an ice pack. Please yeah. hand one over, please. Mm hmm. All right. I, I totally understand, man. I just, I, I think I would get killed. I think I would get shot. Yeah, yeah. Very, yeah. Very, it's very possible. You're, you're, but again, you're I mean, not, God, again, you die what, doing what you love. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was another excellent episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Man, I had fun on that one, guys. Yeah, it was great. I, I had a lot I had of fun. I had a blast, man. Yeah. I always do. I know. And thank you, JP, for coming again. I mean, Absolutely, man. I mean, coming over and doing the podcast Absolutely. Again. <laughs> both. You're welcome <laughs> for sure both. I'm sure you did. I got to clean the fucking chair up after you leave. Yeah. Um, but guys, you can uh, check us out on uh, Laughing on the Sidelines on TikTok or Instagram. If you do not already follow us on Instagram, please do that. Or if you don't follow us already on Instagram, please do that. We don't know what's going on with uh, TikTok, but they don't like us right now. Uh, so if you follow us on TikTok, do us a favor. Go through all of the videos. There's like probably maybe 50 that you haven't seen over the last like four weeks. So we'd appreciate that. Um, but uh, as we always like to say, guys, thank you so much for um, <clears throat> doing what you do. And as always, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us. Uh, we hope a shark grows legs and learns how to breathe <laughs> on land, then teaches himself a skill to where he's able to get a job, takes that money and applies it towards driving lessons and eventually buys a car, then drives all the way to Wichita, Kansas, knocks on your door, and when you answer, he bites your goddamn arms off <laughs> and then goes down to your basement and eats your stupid fucking snowboard. <laughs> <laughs> Bindings first. If you don't like us. Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> until next time. People have an asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care.